What does that have to do? You know what I'm saying? What does that right. have to do with me? Now, I could be like, you know, that is some trifling stuff right there. <laughs> you trifling one. You, you trifling for that. But, you know what I'm saying? I can't. Mm-hmm. Because, first of all, if your relationship, like, like saying, if you don't have the greatest relationship with um, your step parent, it might look like you're trying to sabotage mm-hmm. the marriage. Well, second of all, the step parent might already know what's going on. But they just might like to pretend like everything's okay. So now you force problems to come to the surface, which can cause a whole nother step. It's none of my business. It's none of my business. <laughs> Even when I was younger, I used to have trouble telling my friends because I told one of my friends one time, she was like, y'all lying. I said, okay. Total what? Hey everybody, I'm AJ. This is Danny. We are hashtag. 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 Hashtag the cannons. CCT. Testing, testing. Is this thing on? Everybody, welcome back to our eating show. Ciao. All right, guys. So today we are back with another mukbang. This is round two for us. Y'all don't know this, but <laughs> we recorded this exact same mukbang the day before. Unfortunately, we had some audio problems and nothing recorded, so we have to do this again. But it's all good because we back in full effect. <laughs> so um, got a couple of subtle differences here, but y'all don't know that. Anyway, y'all, we back with another mukbang, another seafood boil for you guys. All right, today we have some D shell king crab, some lobster tails. We have some small ones, and we have some large ones. We also have some sausage here, and um, some corn and boiled eggs. Those boiled eggs will be here in three, two, one. So yeah, if you know me, you know I have a habit of forgetting about boiled eggs and our <laughs> seafood boils, but it's all good, y'all. So um. Then it's going to hit you with a couple things and then we're going to jump into this. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And then after that, hit that post notification bell so that you know every time we upload and give this video a thumbs up. That's right, like you guys. It. Like the oh, we video. Did it twice. Oh, <laughs> yes. Give us a thousand likes. We need a thousand likes. Because we did it twice. <laughs> right. Yeah, y'all don't know. I'll post a clip in here just to prove it. But, uh, you know, um,. Remember, guys, hashtag grow, baby, grow. We're moving closer to 10K. Um, that's our goal as of right now. So um, we're getting closer to closer to that goal. So remember to, you know, just show some love. And also, also guys, if you'd like to get your own coldest water bottle, all you got to do is check out the link in the description box below. Use our code cannons with one N. Cannons with one N. That'll get you 10% off your entire order of the coldest water bottle. All right, guys, so we're going to say grace. And then we're going to get to eating this shibu. <laughs> Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless this food and, that, and let it be nourished to our bodies. And it's your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. So, like I said, I'm just going to. We got the um, D shell king crab in front. Got the lobster tails. Got the small red ones. And got the um, the larger ones here. Um, also, beef sausage, um, corn on the cob, and uh, eggs. And we also got, can't forget, the be love smack delicious sauce that has been uh, marinating in all types of, you know. <laughs> Round two, like I said. <laughs> Let me go on the egg first. Oh, I need a egg. This sauce has gotten thicker since hate. last night already. Oh. I don't want to cut. I don't want to cut it with nothing. The reason I got y'all might say, why you got the big old lock tails on your side? Because Danny prefers the small one. I so, <laughs> she has these. Even though I do prefer the red ones, to me they have a different flavor slightly, but they don't have any big red ones near us that I know of. So um, I got these from Sam's, and I got the um, the those small red ones from um, those food. Yeah, so let me get one of these jokers this time. This sauce has gotten thicker. Mm -hmm. I ain't cut it, which is fine with me. Cause, you know, I like it like that. Oh, cool one. Let me see here. Yeah. yeah. Let me see if I can not eat as hard as I did yesterday. 
I can't stand when I do that. <laughs> so, um. You so eager. I'm gonna be like, AJ, I wanna wear this on a white shirt. It's actually already been stained from one of my previous mm -hmm. Blee Love Sauce Mook Bongs, so, I mean, it ain't nothing special about it. It's probably hard to see this. Oh! It used to be a pack shirt. Might be. <laughs> probably hard to see the stains on camera because you know, bleach, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -mm. When I was younger, my parents would make me count in between my bites. You know how annoying that was? Oh, yeah, I said I was going to um, focus the food for y'all who like to see the food because I know it's focused on our face. So that's that. <clears throat> I kind of like pan across everything. Well, I'll leave it there. I'll let it focus wherever it's going to focus. Mm -hmm. If you just oh mm -mm. mm -mm. <laughs> I know you? you had a corner of my iPad. <laughs> like, what you doing? <laughs> Beef sausages. I like one more day. I like them. It's just right here. Is it true? <laughs> you hear me? You know, those eggs are good in it. Be love sauce, but I don't, I've been seeing people do that challenge with that 24 eggs in it. And I don't think I can eat 24 eggs. I don't think I can eat 24 eggs by itself, much less than butter. <laughs> I don't care if it's just sauce. I, I don't care if it's just butter sauce or if it's straight butter. I've seen some great attempts. <laughs> I can't eat 24 eggs. No. Hey, that dirty dozen took me out. That's 12. I'm about to eat 12. <laughs> How long was it since we ate eggs? Mm -hmm. Forever. This is not appropriate for this meat bomb, but I'd like to put this sausage in some bread. That's good, man. With mustard. What? I'm telling you. Look, I got plans. <laughs> <laughs> I've been making plans for this mm -hmm. sausage. I want to try that chicken apple one, too. They got mm. a chicken apple one in the same brand. 
at least our beefy, I, I probably already said that, but <laughs> I prefer these over the pork ones for some reason. I just like the taste better. I like chicken apple sausages, well, the ones I've tried. I'm sure there's some out there that probably be like, <laughs> Taco this bad boy. Mm -mm. Taco this, baby. The hig. Oh, 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 You start jamming to it. Usually you be like, yeah, stop it, quit it. It's a hunk of meat right there, boy. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Here I go. And my thick sauce, too, is thick. They say, like, if you eat it, freeze it. Every time you eat it and freeze it, it loses some of its thinness. So you either got to cut it with some water or some or some Coke or butter or whatever you're going to cut it with if you want to loosen it up. Because every time, every time you eat it and freeze it, it gets a little thicker. But I like it thick. I like to be able to, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? I'm eating. Meat, right? Yeah. Believe it or not, because these were some of the um, smaller lobster tails. You see how big this is? I got two bites out of it. I took some big bites. <laughs> well, how big was the thing? Big. It was something in there bigger than that. I was like, uh uh. All of them were big. This is I the smallest get. ones that they had today. <laughs> Those lobster tails were so huge. We could have got the big ones, but I went out of now. <laughs> now, now, now. You good on that? I don't know, man. I like the big prawns, the big crab legs. I mean, crab legs is one thing, because, you know, but the lobster tails, you know. <laughs> this is about as big as I need, because they're already big. Some of those are like, the like, if y'all watch me love, you know, the last really big one she had on there. I'm pretty sure they were bigger than that. They were so huge. Now I'm just like, what does the lobster look like? The rest of his body, right? Right. <laughs> Eat your face off. <laughs> Cause these were like, they had a pack in there. I'm pretty sure. That one was um was um double these. Like double you put both of these together, it was as big as that that one of them in a pack. I said, cool. Mm -hmm. Where they go fishing at? But uh, we had one in there some weeks ago and all of them was like pretty small. I mean they were bigger than like those but they weren't even as big as these. They were like uh, medium size. Them duckers in there now, boy. This hair's my hair. <laughs> I don't know if they're growing them or what. Mm -hmm. And Jack did them with something. So somebody had messaged me earlier mm -hmm. about some shoes I would sell on Facebook. And you know one thing I don't like when I sell something up there is when somebody try to haggle me. Oh, they gonna haggle. Like, oh. Uh. So, I'll tell you what I do. <laughs> and what you ought to do. If I'm selling for something for $75 uh -huh. that I know is worth, well worth $90, mm -hmm. but I'm willing to take 75. Mm -hmm. I'm going to post it for about 100. Right. Because these people 
most of them know that they got a quality price. It's different if you're selling something, you know, overpriced. Mm-hmm. If I'm selling something for, that I know is worth ninety dollars, most time it's probably worth the hundred too. But you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'll take seventy five at least. So what I'm doing is I'm post that joker for a hundred dollars right. because there's people are going to try to n- negotiate your price that you want no matter what. So if you put it up there for seventy five dollars, if I want if I take seventy five dollars, they're gonna try to get that down uh, to fifty. About fifty. I was about to say fifty. Even though it's worth it's worth uh, it's worth ninety. They'll try to get it down to fifty. So I just go ahead and post it for a hundred because and it works. In their mind, they feel like as long as they work you down, you know what I'm saying, then they've 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 got a deal. So Which me when I'm looking up there to buy something, if I see the price of it and to me it's reasonable, I'm not gonna which I guess some people are just like that, you know. They just like the Yeah, some people Jew folk down. My dad is one of them. He I I think he thinks of it as a game. Mm-hmm. Like, let me see how low I can get them, even though he probably would have paid for it, you know, from jump. Mm-hmm. But I think he sees it as a game. But if I see something up there that's reasonable priced, I'll just go ahead. Okay, let's meet up. I'm going to get it. Look, so, girl, I told you these shoes is brand new. You trying to talk about where you take 15 and I had them up there for 25 and I paid 40 for them. No, I right, can't now take some stuff I, I'll go ahead and say not, don't even bother, you know what I'm saying? Don't even bother, you know. Going and you can even one. say firm, and they like, I'm a try it anyway. <laughs> right. I'm going to try it anyway and see. I heard when people, I've got some people that try to argue with me. Bro, no is no. Right. Like, go on. Because like. this is mine. Right. <laughs> I'm like, they're like, well, nobody's going to pay. Well, I said no, so. And then, I'll yeah. wait till that somebody do. Right. <laughs> or, or nobody. If, they got, if they're not going to get it, then they're not going to get it. Right. Like, I'm not in the rest. Who's press? Me or you? Because I'm not. I'm definitely not. Right. Which I see those, like those let goes and those offer up and Facebook yard sale. I see them as a good tool. I'm glad they do. Because, you know, some people be having brand new stuff up there. Mm-hmm. That you can get. All these people with these electronics be tripping. You do know you used that, right? <laughs> <laughs> you used it. Y'all, I'm going to let AJ eat for y'all. I can't. <laughs> let me see if I can eat this egg. I ain't just going to come out and say you're not eating. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna let AJ eat for y'all. Eat this egg. No, I'm sure y'all can understand. It's our second day eating seafood. (laughs) (laughs) But still, AJ's gonna come out and say, I ain't. I didn't say I ain't. I said I was done. (laughs) What does that mean? I'm done. <laughs> you're not eating. Right? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. It don't mean that. So, AJ. Hmm? If you saw your dad cheating with his phone, like text messages, texting another lady, would you tell your stepmom or would you just let it rock? My stepmom. Okay, no, never mind. <laughs> Let me uh, use me, cause you, you being messy. <laughs> I answer he wouldn't anyway. <laughs> let's say I saw my dad <laughs> with another woman, not my real mom. He had married somebody else. Depending on the relationship I have with her, I might tell her, and then again, I might not. Because I feel like you getting yourself in a in a hole Very well. that you don't want to be in. It just depends on the situation. Yeah. It depends, like, um, I probably wouldn't. I mean, I probably wouldn't even if... It's not my business for one. Mm-mm. And um, like um, 
and you grown. Right. <laughs> you need to be able to tell them, you know, if you just finish or whatever. And then they might already know. Right. I'm about to hear me like, uh, yo, this N word cheating on you. <laughs> because first, not I, this N word. First of all, she might already know. Second of all, what is what does that have to do? You know what I'm saying? What does that right. have to do with me? Now I could be like, you know, that is some trifling stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> you trifling one. You you trifling for that. But you know what I'm saying? I can't. Mm-hmm. Because first of all, if your relationship, like, like saying, if you don't have the greatest relationship with um, your step parent. It might look like you're trying to sabotage mm-hmm. the marriage. Well, second of all, the step parent might already know what's going on, right. but they just might like to pretend like everything's okay. So now you force problems to come to the surface, which can cause a whole nother step. It's none of my business. It's none <laughs> of my business. Even when I was younger, I usually had trouble telling my friends because I told one of my friends one time, she was like, Y'all lying. I said, okay. Told her what? I told her her boyfriend was cheating on her. Oh, I ain't know what you were talking about. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I told her her boyfriend was cheating on her. But she ain't believe us, me and my friend. Uh-uh. And so I said, okay. <sighs> so, <laughs> so we got a little mall where I'm from. AJ know that mall. It's a hallway. And um, we took her in that mall. Cause I knew he was still there. She went to work. I took her in that mall. And she over here talking about that ain't him. I said, whatever, dude. Whatever. I'm leaving. If you don't think that's him, because that show sure enough is him with that girl. That's her. Right there. Mm-hmm. Talking about it ain't her. I said, okay. Well, you be the fool then. I'm out of here. And that's the thing. Most of the time, if you try to, um, like, this, like, perfect example. When people, um, if you know what I'm saying, even if even if they don't know for sure and they have suspicions, if they depending on how long they've had their suspicions, if they'd ignored it that whole time, you think they're gonna listen to you? Right, but I'm like, because that, if, I'm if showing that's the case, you to your face. If that's the case, then they probably ignored every obvious sign that they were cheating. Right, and so and if, if they, you if you if they've already done that, then that means that they're trying not to face reality, and so you can't make nobody. For they're just trying to they they villainize you mm-hmm. and make it look like you um like you uh yep. got something some you kind of vendetta. And you just jealous? Okay, well, be jealous in the dummy. You don't know. <laughs> well, tell me because the thing was that if I hadn't said anything to you, and then you found out, and then figured out that I had already knew. You'd have got mad mm-hmm. because I didn't tell you. But I tell you, and then you don't believe me, and I give you evidence, and you still don't want to believe me, and then go right about your business. I be over here living my best life. I'm living my best life. While you getting cheated on working right down the street. <laughs> you know, it's crazy, man. Like, <laughs> you know, you got all types. Can't want a man that big. You got all types of people. Some people be ready to, um, to catch their <laughs> spouse cheating. Some people, you know, will not, they're not facing Shun it. I they, don't they, see you, it. Can, you can sit there and then, you know what I'm saying, they can lead, a, they can lead the phone out, you know what I'm saying, with the message and bleep, 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 just coming through <laughs> while they're in the shower and you just ignore it. You know good and well there's somebody else on that phone and you walk past it. You know what I'm saying? Um, not saying that you should go looking through your the phone, but I'm just saying. <laughs> there could be obvious signs, you know what I'm saying? The man come home smelling like perfume, woman come home smelling like somebody else's cologne, and you know what I'm saying? And then you just ignore it. You know, so some people right. some people do that, and then there's some people who are more confrontational. But in any case, you know what I'm saying? That's a delicate, <laughs> hand. That's a delicate subject, especially when you're dealing with a step-parent. If it was my real parent, then I might be like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. You need to tell her. Because well, you know I don't want to. Well, I'm going to tell you. I, I- <laughs> You but, need to tell it because I don't want to. But I'm just like, and then it's in the same situation, but at least that's your real parent. Right. I mean, they can't say nothing more than you were looking out for one because that's your real mom mm-hmm. or real dad or whatever. But, you know, I personally, in a step, in a, in a, um, in the case of a step parent, <laughs> you know, I just, baby. I just, <laughs> right. <laughs> I, just, baby. I will mind my own blank, blank business. Uh-uh. Because. I know blank, blank business. 
I don't have to talk. Okay, and I don't want no parts. And if the first time you try to tell me that I'm just trying to do something, I'm like, okay, and you just go you ahead. You go ahead and sit there and look dumb. <laughs> Forget right I said right anything. Now. Yeah, but uh. <sighs> I'm gonna put tomorrow this sausage in the bread <laughs> with some mustard and cheese. Mm -hmm. I'd take it mustard. with the slice, the sliced bread or the oven. Mm -hmm. Either way. Now there are some things with sliced bread. That I'm just me and a hamburger and sliced bread ain't never been friends. I'm sorry. <laughs> we ain't never been friends. And I've had it so many times. My mama don't have bread. I just I'm hate like, the way that the burger <laughs> bubbles and up. And it has this thing. I hate the way it. the burger bubbles up in the light bread. And then you got this. You got these little corners that do this like. This little. This type thing. This number here. And then you know what I'm saying. You got the grease coming through. Making uh, a circle. And then you got these dry parts on the outside. How That's why you describe that so well? Because you know what I mean. Like yeah, I, I prefer do. the bun because it fits. Which some people like it with the sliced bread. I think and it's that, great with yeah. the sliced bread. It tastes good because it's soft part. Right. But it's just the outside. I don't prefer just, it. It's jacked up. <laughs> Give me the bun. But I mean, if I got to eat it with sliced bread, bring it on. Uh-uh. Let's get it on. When I was younger, I used to pick the crust off, you know, the brown part. So that just really was not a good thing for me because I ain't had nothing holding it. I might as well have took a fork to that. I mean, then sometimes, depending on how greasy your burger is, even if you kind of like peel the crust off the edge, sometimes when you go to squeeze the bite, you be not smash <laughs> the soft flat bread, white bread be so so soft that it gets flat against your burger. So now you really don't have no bread. You just kind of like it's kind of just smushed on there. But hey, man, hey. I'm finna put this on a slice something tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I don't care what kind of bread. Okay. Yo bread. Mama bread. His <laughs> bread. Brother no, bread. No, you, you need to put it. You can't use no bread. Why I can't use bread? You got to put it in a lettuce. I'm not doing no lettuce. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Huh? So you, nobody wants to put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> you, buddy. Okay. <laughs> It better be some audio on this video. I'm fighting this mic. I know. I'm <laughs> me, <quick>. and this, <laughs> me and this mic gonna fight. I'm done with YouTube. This is it. <laughs> I can't keep going through this type of stress. <sighs> oh, shoot. Man, y'all already know. We like, we like seafood. We do, we do. But it's hard for us to eat the same seafood two days in a row. Like, some people can. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it was, it was still good. But yeah. it's like, you know. Yeah, it just gets harder and harder. Especially, you know, some people can, hey, bust it out every day. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why y'all don't see seafood mukbangs every other mukbang or every mukbang on our channel. We like chicken. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, I guess down with everything else, you know, as well. You know, I like a variety. You know what I'm saying? Give me a color, a color swatch. Give me something to choose from, you know what I'm saying? That's enough. Give me. That's enough. What? Okay. Colors. Give me a swatch. A swatch book. What you got? I swatch. don't know. Yeah. I don't know. No, I am a cheater. So. So. Back to the cheating thing. So, um. If your step. Oh, let's switch it up. If your stepmama's cheating on your daddy, would you tell him? If my stepmama, if you caught, if you caught, cheating on my dad, if you was out at the store and you happen to see her in a restaurant with another man, uh, hugged up and close, but let's say you was um like you was out and about in another city, and you saw her uh, hugged up two towns over with some other dude at a restaurant, would you tell your dad? Because I like my daddy. I probably still would not. Um, if I saw her, I'd make sure she saw me. Especially if you got. You I would make sure she saw me. Like I'm fitting to stand in the <laughs> in the Italian restaurant <laughs> glass like this. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm going there, girl. I ain't know you come on this side uh, of town. Shit, I was just in the mood for some spaghetti today. 
How you doing? You don't you want to give me a meal? How you doing, mister? Yeah, as soon as I see her, you better tell my daddy what you was doing. Before I do. And you, <laughs> you, you gonna give me $500? I think <laughs> I'm I, telling it. I think I'd go out of my way to be seen, too. I don't care. I don't care what kind of relationship I got with her. Oh, she gonna see me. Whether it's, right. a, whether it's a bad relationship or a good relationship. She gonna see me. I just want you to know I see you. How you know this man? <laughs> Who is this man? Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, I know her. She kind of married to my daddy. I don't know. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I, I still don't know that I say anything. No, well, I probably would. I just, he could be out here, you know what I'm saying, parlaying to the like, eh, Do you eh. know how many times my mom told me stay out grown folk business? Like, that's get, what I'm going to do. He could be bumping, grinding across town, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know, so. Yeah, you know, me and Daniel had this conversation before. You know how we was talking about like um, I'm just saying like um, uh, in my opinion, like this is just kind of going in that cheating category, because I know um people who have cheated um, who have been cheated on, who you know who who are married, and, you know people deal with it all the time in different ways. But I think one of the main things I think that um is important is if you know that you cannot handle whether you're in a relationship especially if you're in a marriage you know even though marriages you tend to want to try to make work mm -hmm. if you know that you cannot handle the fact that this person has cheated on you you need to go ahead and cut ties let it go even if you I'll got children it's because the thing is is um you can't try to make something work if you're going to constantly accuse that person of doing the same thing um even though they're not or even though, you know what I'm saying, just because of what they've done in the past. Because then it's not going to, you know what I'm saying, you're not going to get anywhere. And then it's only going to sour the marriage anyway. Even if that person has already come, um, especially if they're trying their best, you know, to make up for their mistakes and um, move forward. But, you know what I'm saying, everything that makes you suspect, you question. Where are you going? Where you been? Well, and you keep bringing up the past. Well, you cheated, da 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 da, -da. That will sour our marriage anyway. So I feel like a lot of people... You know what I'm saying? Don't and um, they don't they don't let it go. You know what I'm saying? And I think if you're gonna if you're gonna try to make your relationship work, you gotta learn how to let that go. No, not saying that it's not gonna be hard to regain trust after the incident, but if you say okay, where do we go from here? And then y'all say okay, we're gonna try to work it out. Then you gotta leave that there in the dirt. Even if you look at that and say, you lying, cheating, whatever. Mm -hmm. Even if that's what you see for the, for the next time, you said uh, you agreed to make it work. You can't keep calling that person that because you already know what happened now and you agree to move forward. I think that's, um, that's a problem I've seen in a lot of relationships where people have cheated is, you know what I'm saying, the other party hasn't been able to let it go. Now, if you say, if you do it again, I'm done. Then, you know what I'm saying, at least give a person a chance to mess up. You know what I'm saying, don't sit here and wait for the mess up. <laughs> you might as well go ahead and call it quits there. But a lot of, the problem is a lot of people, they, um, even though they uh, might want to leave the relationship or whatever, they also don't want that other person to be with anybody else. So they'd rather just stay with them and make the other person life hell and keep accusing them of cheating and what they did in the past and bringing this up. And you know what I'm saying, that's... Who wants to live like that? Who wants to live like that? I have a close friend, you know what I'm saying, who who dealt with a lot of that. And, um, you know what I'm saying, what, they, what he did was wrong, but at the same time, you know, he, I feel like that, that was a point where he was trying to make things right. But, hey, can't always, you know, the other party's not always going to see it that way. I just think it's important for you to at least try if you, if, if you, um, if you don't leave. Ain't no trying for me. I'm just right, leaving. Right. If you, if you leave, <laughs> like if you gonna leave, leave. Then you know leave. what I'm saying? But don't sit here. Right. Then leave. <laughs> but uh, uh, that's what I'm because <laughs> I ain't good at it. Right, I mean, I but, know me. I wouldn't be good at it. Yeah. I wouldn't say anything, but it would be. It would probably torment me more than it would him. Every time, but I'm just like every time you got to be accused. Every time you you gone five minutes longer than you said you're gonna be gone. Every time you got it, you know what I'm saying? It's the third degree. Every time you go anywhere, who you texting, you know what I'm saying? You 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 worried up in the middle of the night trying to look at the other person's phone, you know what I'm saying? And then the other person is stressed out because you keep trying to search their phone and mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. That's unnecessary. I don't know why people put themselves through that type of torture. I'm just like, end it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I think people just, they inherently are um, possessive. And after something like infidelity, they 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 know they can't handle it. They know they couldn't handle it the first time it happened, but at the same time, they still don't want that person to um, willingly be with somebody else. Mm-hmm. So, they just keep on and keep hating the person while they're together, but, they, you know, just knowing good and well that they can't, you know, I can't, but anyway, that's my little spiel on that. Yeah, his soapbox. <laughs> A soapbox. Come on, girl, let's finish this mukbang. Finish what? Just at least finish the crap. I can't. Let's finish the crap. Okay, you was crazy. <laughs> All that up there. <laughs> I will throw up everywhere. Oh, anyway. Did you leaning over there? I need him? a massage. Give me no, a... I'm not. Right here. You need to get off me. You're a little tight. No, I don't like I'm fucking right face. Here. Yeah, we got y'all a long video today. Right, because he long. <laughs> no, well, some people was asking for a longer video. Some people said our videos are too short. So, I mean, y'all don't always get longer videos, but when you get them, hey, you got them. Because it's probably, at the cuts, it'll probably be 30 minutes anyway. No. <laughs> mm-hmm. 34. Five. You don't know. <laughs> you don't. Hey, <laughs> edit. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. Hopefully, y'all can hear everything I'm saying right now because the audio is recording this time. Because if uh, not, make sure you I go fight this mic. <laughs> make sure, the mic on the floor. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. Uh, drop uh, Like this video. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think, guys. We love to inter- interact with you in the comments. Also, guys, remember to share, share, share this video with your family, friends, loved ones. Let them know what we got going on in this channel because sharing is caring. So do what? Care yes. about us. Care about us. Anyway, guys, we love you so much. We appreciate y'all. Daddy, take us out. Bye-bye.